So welcome everyone. Thank you a lot for joining us today for this webinar, which will be dedicated to our three week summer program. Uh, we are really glad to have you with us today. Uh, my name is Ellen Gurry. I'm higher education officer within the French Institute in Norway. And today I'm not alone. I'm not speaking only in my name, but also in the names of my colleagues who are also working within French institutes, so the one in Denmark, Estonia, Finland, and Sweden, and we are very glad to have you with us. So, to tell you a bit more about the organization of this webinar, which is, by the way, recorded, for you to know, uh, we'll have different speakers that are going to follow one another. First of all, we'll have Jean-François Dutré, who is Development Manager at Campus France, and he will provide you with some background information regarding the French Plus Sciences program. Then we'll have Dominique Chateau, uh, who is the Director at Ciel Bretagne, so that uh, FLE Center, where the summer program is going to take place this summer. Uh, FLE, so French as a foreign language, for those of you who don't know about that. And uh, she will tell you a little bit about the FLE Center, but also about the content of the program. And eventually, we'll have Mathieu Monio, who is working as project officer at uh, Breast Technology Hub. And she will explain you a little bit and tell you about uh, Breast position as a leading marine research center in Europe. So, uh, for you to know as well, uh, at the end of this webinar, we will have a time dedicated to Q&A, so some questions and answers. There is already at the bottom of your screen a section that you can access. So during the webinar, don't hesitate to share your questions with us and we'll answer them at the end of it. Uh, before starting really this webinar, I just wanted to share with you a piece of good news. So for the participants who are attending a higher education institution here in Norway, or for our Norwegian participants who are attending a higher education institution in one of our partner countries, meaning Finland, Sweden, Denmark, and Estonia, um, well, you have the opportunity to benefit from scholarship opportunities because the French embassy has decided this year to finance the stay of five students. So if you want to know more about these scholarship opportunities, I will invite you to check on our website, Institut Français de Norvège, the French Institute of Norway. And uh, you will have a dedicated se section over there and you will find all the detailed information about the, the application procedure. But if you have any question, you can also contact me and I will leave you down my contact details in the chat section. So that will be all for now. And I'm just going to give the floor to Jean-François, who's going to tell you a bit more about French sciences. Jean-François, the floor is yours. Okay. Thank you so much, Ellen, for this introduction. And my very warm thanks to all of you for attending this presentation. Um, before introducing you to the French Plus Sciences program, allow me to introduce myself. Uh, so my name is Jean-François Dutré, and I'm the Development Manager at the Educational and Academic Engineering Department in the Campus France Agency in Paris. Um, what I'd like to stress before starting the presentation is, uh, in fact, two points. As it has just been said, and thanks to the significant support of the French Institute in Norway, uh, five scholarships will be allocated to selected students. But what I'd like to underline is that uh, French Plus Sciences is a program essentially dedicated to free mover students, so that all of you that may be interested in participating in the program are most welcome to register directly on our partner's website, as we will we'll see in a minute. Uh, the second point is that I will introduce you to the general framework of the French Plus Sciences program with its uh, main contents, uh, main objectives, and with a brief description of the four regions where the program is implemented uh, at that time. But then in a second phase, we will focus more specifically on the uh, region of Brittany uh, where we will host a session dedicated to 
marine sciences. So let me give you access to my presentation now. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, Helen, uh, I can't do so because uh, there's something that prevents it. Uh, I don't have access to uh, the possibility no, of... Ah, yes, okay, now, now, <laughs> now it seems to be possible. Let me see if it works. Yes, it seems to work. Okay. Right. Uh, first of all, I'd like to remind what was our starting point in designing this program. French Plaisances reflects our will to address university students in scientific and technical fields, English speakers, but who may be complete beginners in French. Most of the time, these students don't know about the French technological know-how in cutting edge sectors and the excellence of our scientific training. As they don't know either about the possibility they have to pursue a master degree or maybe a PhD in English in France. And the third characteristic is that they are very often uh, afraid about planning a study stay in France, even a short stay, if they don't already speak French before leaving. So uh, in order to overcome the language barrier and allow non-French speaking students to experience a short program in science and perhaps pursue studies in France, we designed the French Plus Sciences program. So we gathered uh, entrepreneurs, scientists, innovators, researchers, uh, engineers, uh, experts to uh, design the scientific module uh, in the scientific in the French Presences program, and on the other hand, we uh, uh, addressed our partners from the centers uh, of French uh, uh, of teaching French as a foreign language, so that we have the main two parts of the French Presences program, and to promote it, we lean upon the network of the French dim diplomatic posts and of course on the network of the uh, local offices of the Espace Campus France network. So who may participate in the French Plus Sciences programs? Undergraduate students seeking a period of language, scientific and cultural immersion in France. About the language requirements, you may be complete beginners in French, though those of you who may have a certain level in French are most welcome, of course. Uh, you will be distributed uh, among level groups so that we may have um, intermediate level groups and maybe advanced level groups. Uh, in English, a B2 level is required. The main objectives of the program are to explore scientific and technical cutting edge sectors through site visits to companies, conferences and encounters with specialists in the field to acquire or improve communication skills in French and to discover four of the most beautiful regions of France. Once again, today we will focus on the uh, Brittany region. How did we manage to overcome the language barrier and in which way French plus sciences is really a short program in science? Well, French Plus Sciences is a short program because the sessions last from three to four weeks. And we named it French Plus Sciences because basically the program is composed of two main parts, uh, considering the uh, general schedule and the hourly distribution of 30 hours per week. Students will attend French classes on the mornings for 15 hours per week while on the afternoons they will participate in the uh, uh, scientific module with this program of visits to companies and institutes specialized in one of the four selected fields. And then on the weekends they will um, benefit from a very rich program of cultural visits to discover the attraction of the four regions where the program is implemented. So now 
how did we manage to overcome the language barrier, I'd like to uh, stress that both the scientific module and the cultural activities program are fully conducted in English. And moreover, from the very moment when you arrive at the language center, you will be um, welcomed in English and then fully accompanied in English for any kind of question during all your stay, so that you don't have to be afraid if you don't speak French yet. An important aspect of the program is that you may get six ECTS credits through uh, the language part of French plus sciences uh, while uh, attending uh, a session uh, of the program. What are the objectives and contents of the scientific module? They are built around innovative themes in cutting edge sectors, pursued by internationally recognized companies and labs in the four regions where we organize the French Plus Sciences sessions, which are starting uh, by the south of France in Montpellier. Uh, our theme there is focus on sustainable development. Then in Brest in Brittany, which is our purpose today, uh, sea sciences and technologies. In Normandy, in Rouen, uh, it's about uh, transport and energy. And finally, in the eastern part of France, in Besançon, micro and nano uh, technologies for industrial applications. So I give you a quick overview of the presentation pages of each uh, different theme as they appear in the uh, French Plus Sciences brochure, science and technology of the sea in Brest, focus on transport and energy in Normandy, and finally, micro, nano, and smart technology for industrial applications in Besançon. Now, let's focus on uh, the theme in Brest, Brittany, with an overview of some of the activities uh, which will be part of your program. And maybe some of you have recognized uh, most famous Mont Saint-Michel, which is of course part of the program. <clears throat> uh, some specific uh, indications about the reasons why uh, Brest and the Brittany region were chosen to host this uh, session. And of course, my two colleagues will give you some more explanations, specifically on the scientific uh, part of the program. Just to remind you that Brest is a city at the top of the European ranking for marine sciences, and it's among the main international pools of research. The city has made a massive development of marine resources to attract and support companies specialized in marine renewable energies. Brest is of course a maritime city uh, where research in the field of science, information and digital technology is particularly active. And it may be interesting for you to notice that the city's university campus is also dedicated to the sea. A quick overview uh, of the main partners involved in the organization of the scientific module. I don't have time, unfortunately, today to comment with you on the specificities, but feel free to go on their website and discover uh, in which they are, uh, uh, for uh, the most uh, important part of them, internationally renowned. So what you can remember about the scientific module of the French Plus Sciences program is that it's indeed a very practical, a very professional training in which students are involved as future engineers working within work firms and research organizations. So that you will be invited to reflect as a group on a problem or on problems linked to the present and future challenges facing engineers. And by participating in this day, you will gain a firm grasp of the solutions and responses that France can bring to these questions 
by virtue of its high level technological capabilities. Let's now have a look at the logistical aspects of the program, starting with the registration process, which is indeed very simple for uh, those of you who would like to participate as free, new, free mover uh, students. Uh, it's a sim simplified registration process where you just have to go on our partner's website to register. A complete academic and logistical package is included, starting with the airport pickup, transportation to and from the language center. This service is uh, uh, offered to uh, groups of 10 students. Three housing options and uh, tutoring and monitoring of progress together with the assessment and a final report. It's uh, something, uh, it's an important point uh, for us, a significant point for us, uh, specifically, for instance, if we receive students uh, coming from a, a university and um, where it's uh, important to uh, give a feedback and a follow-up of these students during their stay. Uh, next session will take place from uh, the 20th of June till the 8th of July. And you have here a, a description of the different housing options and the different fees. Uh, as you can see, uh, considering the uh, three weeks stay and the university housing option, um, the cost is of 2000 140 euros and it goes up to 2740 euros for uh, um, uh, the private apartment housing option. So as a conclusion, uh, I'd like to stress what are the main strengths of French plus sciences. It creates a scientific dynamic it brings together in a single program innovators, entrepreneurs, scientists, educators, and researchers. It gives to international students an appreciation of French technological know-how in this specific cutting edge sector, which is science and technology of the sea. And finally, French plus sciences allow them to play a very active role in their own training. So thank you so much for your attention. I give now the floor to Mrs. Dominique Chateau, who is the head of the Ciel Bretagne, the language center, which will host next session in Brest. And of course, I will be very pleased to uh, answer all your questions after uh, the three presentation. Thanks a lot. Okay, do you hear me? Yes, we do. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so, uh, bienvenue au ciel uh, Bretagne. Um, so the language belongs to the Brest Chamber of Commerce. Um, as you can see, we are in a very, very nice environment. Uh, the school is located in a 19th century mansion in a beautiful park along a river. And the school has been completely renovated three years ago. The school has been existing since 1987. We are one of the first schools uh, holding the label Qualité Français Langue Étrangère, uh, with the maximum of stars in the fields audited every four years uh, by a French organism. Uh, it is a guarantee of quality for, for our students. We have a close link with EMBA, which is a business school, which is also part of the Chamber of Commerce and which allows us to give uh, credits. We are a member of Campus France and we are an approved examination center for different exams, uh, Bulats, TOEIC, uh, CLOE and Sor Paris-Sorbonne. 
So we welcome about 500 students per year. Uh, we welcome university students, high school students, executives, diplomats. They mainly come from Europe, but also from Middle East countries, Asia and North and South America. People come from one week course to one year, and in average, it's four weeks. So. We teach uh, general French, specialized French, science, business, medical tourism. We have teacher training courses. We prepare students to higher education in France. And we have French course on sailing and Breton culture. So we have a long experience in teaching, 35 years, uh, with a team of teachers all graduated and specialized in teaching French as a foreign language. We also have the experience of organizing programs dedicated to science, tourism, and cooking. Um, a follow-up in English all along the stays of our students. And the, this program is the opportunity for our students to discover Brittany, which is a very beautiful region with a history linked to our Celtic heritage. So we have chosen with Campus France to develop this program in Brest, because Brest is among the main international poles of research in the fields of science and marine resources. And because of this environment, uh, we have decided to organize this program, Science and Technology of the Sea, which includes different visits, uh, such as the Campus de la Mer, which is a community of scientific, academic, and economic actors devoted to the knowledge and the valorization of sea resources. You'll visit also different companies aiming to develop sea resources, marine hydro turbines, renewable energies, etc. Uh, a laboratory of research for marine and oceanography in Roscoff, which belonged to Sorbonne University. Uh, Oceanopolis, which is a big aquarium focusing on the oceans. But Mathilde, in a few minutes, will tell you more about the syllabus of, uh, of the program. So this three program um, consists in French courses. You'll have 15 hours per week. You can be a complete beginner or you can have a more advanced level. As Jean-Francois said, all the excursions and visits will take place in English. So it's no problem if you don't speak French. So you'll be picked up at the airport on your arrival. You'll have visits and excursions every afternoon and two full day excursions on Saturdays. You'll, the program includes accommodation and you'll have a, an assessment and final report when you leave. And an English spoken leader will take care of you all along your program. And thanks to our link with the business school EMBA, you'll get six credits for this program. Concerning accommodation, you can choose to be lodged in a host family, which will allow you to go on speaking French, of course, after, after class and after your visits. You can also choose to be in a private residence or in a student houses. OK, so we'll be very, very pleased to welcome you to, to our school and for this program. And Mathilde from the Technopole of Brest is going to tell you more about the syllabus of it. Thank you very much. Thanks, Dominique. Uh, should I uh, share my screen? Yes, please, Mathilde. Okay. <laughs> Uh, 
so the um, Technopole is uh, dedicated to higher education, research, and high-tech companies. The association is part of a dynamic of innovation uh, being one of the strategic pillars of Brittany. And it is financially supported by Brest Metropole, the Brittany region, and the European Union. The main aim is to support the creation of um, support the creation and development of innovative companies and the French Tech Breast Plus supports and stimulates initiatives within the digital ecosystem of, um, of the Breast Metropole and the Brittany region. And the Campus Mondial de la Mer, uh, if you want a translation in English, it's a World Sea Campus, but we prefer in French, uh, as this is a, um, a brand. Uh, so it is an innovative com community of scientific, academic, economic, and institutional players that federates its players by developing marine resources. Uh, the Campus Mondial de la Mer is a political initiative of the city of Brest and the Brittany region. It is powered by the Technopole brest -Tiroise. The community um, brings together the first French community dedicated to the knowledge and development of marine resources. It is home to many players whose uh, head offices are located at the tip of the Finistère department um, such as IFREMER, which is uh, one of the first marine science and technology uh, institutes, uh, as well as the SHOM, the Marine Hydrographic Service, CEDR, which is a depolution center, and French Navy as well. And there is a, a wide range of uh, expertise, uh, which um, enable Brest to be recognized as a European city for marine science and technology. Um, the, for example, the Roscoff Biological Stations contributes as well, among other institutes, to training French and foreign researchers in marine biology and ecology. Uh, its values shared within the community are based on a sense of um, teamwork, excellence, and uh, ambition. Uh, the network is uh, um, conquering high potential markets, so such as mar marine biotechnologies, sustainable fishing, maritime transport, maritime cybersecurity, marine renewable energy, algae sector, and so on. Uh, Brest Metropole and its western part of Brittany are therefore recognized as a key center of maritime time excellence and its marine technology activities are recognized on a national, European, and international uh, scale. Three quarters of jobs in the maritime sector are concentrated uh, in the Brest uh, area. <coughs> and this maritime center of excellence combines research, innovative companies, and higher education. Prestigious national schools are also present on the territory, such as Ensta Bretagne, which is an in enjoying school, but also a world research center. Le, the Campus Mondial de la Mer is um, a bearer of this very active and rich synergy in the region, which predestines the great oceanic uh, discoveries to be re re revealed from Brest. And it is home to numerous establishments located at the tip of Brittany, which combine a variety of skills between research, training, and scientific mediation. Uh, this concentration of knowledge and expertise in the maritime environment is unique in France, and its major asset remains its interdisciplinary nature, particularly due to the concentration of scientific, technological, and industrial um, know-how and expertise, such as maritime safety, oceanography, biology, and maritime economy, uh, defense, uh, aquaculture, and so on. So in Brest, you are, um, uh, if you come in Brest, you, are, you will be part of a 
pioneering sorry, dynamic of the blue and sustainable economy, which aims to provide answers to environmental and societal change. As the Campus Mondial de la Mer coordinates the action of university companies, labo labs, and local authorities as well. And thus, it promotes marine research and the development of the international influence of Western Brittany. Uh, approximately 8,500 people are trained in the territory each year and 2,000 are research teachers linked to the maritime world. The University of uh, Western Brittany, UBO, Université de Bretagne Occidentale in French, is part of a network of several European universities led by the European Commission named CEU, with Cadiz in Spain, uh, split also in Croatia, Gdansk in, uh, in Poland, and so on, I can't remember every city, uh, to promote st student mobility and experience. Um, I suggest that we um, watch a short video to present uh, in a dynamic way, maybe better than me, uh, the Campus Mondial de la Mer, if I can. innovation community open to the world. From the establishment of the French Navy's Académie de Marine in France over 200 years ago to the launch of Campus Mondial de la Mer in 2016, France and Brittany have always been a focus for maritime activity in France and beyond. Today, Brittany is the main center in Europe for marine scientific research and the top location in France for research jobs. Finestre boasts 1,400 kilometers or over 850 miles of coastline and offers the most maritime employment of any French region. Campus Mondial de la Mer brings together a network of stakeholders, all of them active in marine and maritime science and technology. They come from academic and research institutions, government bodies, and businesses. Our strengths come from active communities in Brest, Roscoe, Morlaix, Quimper, Pont-Fernand, and the surrounding areas. This part of Brittany already has a great international reputation for fishing and boat building and repairs. But Campus Mondial de la Mer also excels in many other areas. The Roscoff Marine Station has created an innovative ecosystem around biotechnology. It provides ideal conditions for innovative companies such as CB Line, who has developed a range of candidate medicines for blocking regulated cell death. Polymeris, based in Brest, discovers, identifies, and detects innovative molecules from marine microorganisms. The cybersecurity company Diatim is well known in the sector for providing advice and training on maritime cybersecurity. The IMT Atlantique offers a specialist master's course in this subject. It is jointly run with other major local institutions and trains a large cohort of students every year. Dual use innovation projects, which have both civilian and military applications, are supported by many different local organizations. These include major commercial groups like TELUS, startups such as Mapham Geophysics and Higher Education, and research institutions like Ensta Britannia. Last, but by no means least, scientific communication and outreach are at the heart of what we do. The Musée de la Marine shares information about maritime history. Oceanopolis highlights biodiversity and the all new gallery of marine innovation. 70.8 showcases marine science and technology. Our approach centers around all these areas of expertise and many more. We organize events in France, Europe, and further afield where we share our knowledge and expertise. Ocean Hackathon is a nonstop 48 hour event where teams develop a prototype and investigate its possible uses while enjoying unique access to a range of marine digital data. Rest's biennial Sea Tech Week brings together scientific experts and professionals from ocean related fields to explore a specific topic. 
As a result of these and other initiatives taken by our members, we've developed strong international partnerships, including with the United Kingdom, Spain, India, and Canada, especially Quebec. Why not be a part of this dynamic network? Join us in finding ways to make tomorrow's oceans more sustainable. Thanks, Ellen. Um, yes, so I continue. Uh, so as you and, and uh, understand, the Commission de la Mer is uh, involved in international um, cooperation with uh, many countries and many uh, uh, world regions, such as uh, Quebec the, in Canada, the United Kingdom, Spain, India, and Norway as well. Uh, we get several collaborations with international countries, including Norway in the framework of uh, the organization of CTEC Week. So you can uh, go to the next slide, please. Thanks. Uh, so CTEC Week um, is a week-long international event focusing on marine science and technology, and it brings together every two years more than 1,000 leading international experts in various uh, marine-related disciplines to the city of Brest. And it, it includes a scientific and technology conference, professional exhibitions, B2B meetings and social events. And it provides opportunities for scientists, researchers, stud students, cluster, businesses to share advances in research and innovation, develop business contact and uh, enhance um, partnerships and collaborations. In 2022 this year, the main uh, theme uh, is about maritime transport towards smarter and greener solutions. And India will be the featured country of honor. And there will be as well a focus on, the, on women uh, in marine science and technology, and a second uh, focus on the training and jobs. <clears throat> so I told you that because uh, there is one session in the conference who is co-organized by Innovation Norway. Uh, you can go to the next slide. Yeah, ah, yes, I forgot this is an identity card of CTEC Quick, but I told you uh, all this information may be except the dates. So it's from 26 to <coughs> 30 of September, Brest. And there's one session organized by, Innov by Innovation Norway. Uh, so we, we get, um, we have a French Norwegian collaboration and the session is about boat and AUV design and engineering, uh, greener maritime transports, uh, co-organized by Innovation Norway, the France Norway Chamber of Commerce as well, and Royal Norwegian Embassy in France. And in this sense, um, delegations visit from Norway are expecting during CTEC week. So you are welcome to participate in this event if you would like. Can go to the next uh, slide. Uh, yeah, so I um, I hope I, I was clear about the presentation of Brez, the uh, Britannia region, the mar marine science and, and technology field. And here is my team, uh, Juliette, Alice, Jeremy, and me, uh, the team of the Campus Mondial de la Mer. And we, we aim every day at uh, federating uh, these actors. And I'm happy to, to answer any question if needed. Well, thank you very much, Mathilde. So now we're going to move on to the Q&A section. So maybe, please, if you maybe want to share with us a little bit the question that we're asking the chat. Yeah, so hello everybody. Uh, thank you for all the, to all the people who ask questions. So first at the beginning of the sequence, we had Alain Stenny who asked, um, he said that he has a French background and is Norwegian now. And so he thought that 
uh, he wanted to ask if it was possible for him to participate to the summer school and uh, maybe it's related to the scholarships also so i think it's a question for you Hélène, but i guess if he's norwegian he can uh, apply for the scholarship anyway yeah, indeed. So, uh, well, the summer program is open to everyone, whatever your nationality is. So that's no issue if you just wish to register to it. Uh, now, if you wish to apply for one of our scholarships in Norway, indeed, either you need to be of Norwegian nationality and then you can study in a different country, like I said, in one of the in one of our partner countries that are present today. And otherwise, like you can also be a foreign nationality, but as long as you attend a Norwegian higher education institution, then you can also apply for our scholarships. So I hope you answered your question. Otherwise, you can always uh, ask for precisions in the chat. Okay, thank you, Ellen. And there was also another question. Uh, somebody is in the third year of high school and is going to get uh, her diploma in June. And so she was wondering if she could apply. So I guess maybe it's a question for Jean-Francois. Yes, uh, it's not a problem. Uh, I have to explain that we mentioned the a bachelor level as an indication. But of course, for uh, those of you who have a uh, higher level and maybe uh, already a master degree they are most welcome uh, as i said uh, maybe the the stay will be an opportunity to seek for a phd in france so it's not a problem at all if you have a higher level than the bachelor degree okay thank you very much so i think it also answers the question about uh, the person who said that they were doing their masters and asked if they can also participate. So as Jean-Francois said, all levels are welcome to participate to the program. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, there was another question about the kind of research areas that will be uh, the main focus of the program, but I think it was asked before the presentation of the scientific uh, goals of the program. So I guess now the question is answered. However, if you still need some clarification about some uh, topics, just feel free to ask on the on the chat. Um, so another question. Uh, so the person is an Erasmus exchange student in Norway and not a full-time student and she was wondering if she would be eligible for the scholarship. So I guess it's a question for Ellen also. Yeah, so sadly the answer is no in the way that, as I said, either you need to be registered in a Norwegian university, which is our case right now, but Erasmus is a bit different, like her own university is still a foreign one, or she needs to be of Norwegian nationality. So that's the two conditions to apply for our scholarship. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much, Ellen. And another question? was the fact that the program seemed very oriented towards technological and engineered uh, topics. And uh, the person was wondering if there was any focus on marine biology and ecology as well as the person is studying uh, biology. So maybe it's a question for Mathilde, I guess. Um, yes, um, I can uh, answer that. Um, we, we have multiple actors um, engaged in the engineering field as true, but we also get a lot of establishments and university or schools or summer schools as well in uh, biology. Uh, for example, the, the Roscoff uh, bio biology uh, stations is a world 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 station in term and bio, in biology and we work together we work with them uh, and we are used to welcome delegations from all over the world and we take them there for an entire afternoon and now uh, they, they show um, students or people uh, their research their aquariums with their algae and so on so the program is really uh, is uh, concerned um, not just engineering, but also many other topics. 
Okay, thank you very much. Uh, so another person is asking about the specific dates of the program. So I guess maybe Jean-Francois can clarify. Ah, we can hear yes. you. Yes, okay, okay. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> now my mic is on. Uh, as we said, it starts on the 20th of June till the 8th of July. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, so I think we have answered all the questions. I'm just checking the chat, yeah. So if anybody has any other question, just feel free to ask. So I think I will take over from now on. Uh, thank you very much, Millie, for your help with the Q&A section. Um, well, if all your questions have been answered, I offer to conclude this webinar. First of all, I would like very much to thank all of our partners here, so Campus France, but also Dominique and Mathilde for their presence today and their attendance, and to our also the collaboration of the other French institutes. Like I said, this webinar was a collaboration, so thank you to the French institutes of Denmark, Finland, Estonia, and Sweden. Uh, we're very pleased to have you today. Maybe as a final note, just to remember the deadline to apply, if you just want to give a, a to say a word about that, Dominic, just for everyone to be to be yeah. in mind. Yes, the, the deadline is uh, the 30th of April, the end of April. So uh, I will be glad to answer any questions by email if uh, uh, anybody wants to know more. Uh, but so, yes, uh, it's before the end of April that people have to, to, to say if they wish to come. Thank you very much. Oh, I just see that there are two last questions. So maybe we can do a small, uh, a very short last round of that. Um, so the first one, then I'm going to do it really if you don't mind. Uh, so the first one is uh, about the whole summer, not just three weeks as a professor at the school set. So it's indeed only three weeks. Um, regarding the profile to apply, maybe if you want to say a word about that, Jean-Francois, but uh, the person is asking because uh, he or she is studying construction engineering and they are asking if it's possible to apply. Uh, and uh, in fact, uh, maybe uh, Mathilde will have, will have some more information about this specific profile because uh, I Honestly, I don't know if, if a construction engineer uh, will find um, the possibility to uh, of encounters with uh, companies in this specific field. Honestly, I don't know. So maybe Mathilde, if you can answer this question. Um, yes, uh, about construction engineering, um, there's not so so much. Like it's it's hard to get access to these type of structures. Uh, because we need uh, identity cards and so on, but we can do it and it will be related to maritime transport. Uh, but if there, are, if there is a um, lot of um, people uh, asking for this kind of visit, we can um, manage this. Okay, thank you very much, Mathilde for your answer. Now there is one last question about uh, scholarships, so I guess that's for me, about how many students can benefit from a scholarship. Uh, so the French embassy in Norway will finance the stay of five students. So there are five scholarships available. And in terms of deadlines, that's exactly the same as to as the one to register to one of the Fula Center. So to the one in Brest in this case. Uh, it's until the 30th of April as well. So, and I just see one last question again. Um, so when you get a scholarship, indeed, your stay will be fully financed. 
at least indicate that you will enjoy uh, the accommodation within the student, like the student accommodation. If that's the case, then if you decide to go for private accommodation, that might be a bit different, but uh, normally it's fully financed. And then for the rest of the students who wouldn't benefit from a scholarship, indeed, they will have to finance their stay on their own. So I hope this answered your questions. And now it's five. So I think we have answered all the questions in the chat. Therefore, I would like to thank you again for your participation. Uh, just like Dominique said a few moments ago, anyway, you have our contact details now. You can always contact Dominique if you have any questions regarding to Ciel Bretagne and how it's going to be organized over there. If you have some questions about French for sciences in a more general way, you can always refer to, well, ask, send an email to Jean Francois. And in this case of scholarship, I let my email address in the chat session. So you can find it and contact me if you have any further questions. So I would like to thank you all very much for your attendance today. That was a pleasure to have you. And I want to wish you a nice end of the day and hopefully to see you all with plenty of applications and registration very soon. Mm -hmm. thank, thank you very you so much, much to all. Thank you. Thank you, all. Thank you, very, thank very you Ellen. Thank you to okay. all. Thank you. Have a nice end of the day. Bye. Thank you. Bye. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.